Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to perform SQL queries on pre-populated database. If you don't know how to set up a pre-populated database, please check my previous video. We will be using this Ionic SQLite plugin to perform the queries. First we need to install the plugin. To install it, we will be just type this command Ionic Cordova plugin add Cordova SQLite storage to add the plugin then run npm install to install all the dependencies Okay, once that is done, uh, go to your app.module.ts, import the SQLite from Ionic native slash SQLite ngx. Then add it to your providers. Okay, once that is done, then go to your home page.ts. So what we will do is, uh, first we need to import SQLite on SQLite object from Ionic native SQL slash index then you need to inject that thing into constructor so let's create a constructor add sqlite okay. so here uh, we have to Had to do th three things. First, open the database which we already have, or else create the database. Then we we'll just add Iron Man into our Heroes database. Then just uh, print all the uh, heroes in our database ok so to do this let's create one function named as add hero this will take db object of type uh, sqlite object we are importing escalate object from here ok then print all heroes this will also take db object of type escalate object ok to perform these two operations first we have to open a db we can use this dot sqlite dot create which will also open a db function so this function take an object with a configuration of db name our db name is ex dot db with a location location is default ok once it is created this that will return as a promise Okay, uh, so let's take a promise. And once it is done, let's print a console on what's the responses. Yes. Sorry.
once we open the EV, we need to add hero this dot add hero okay so this will take an object we need to pass this response which is an object of type uh, sqlite object pass the object okay uh, I am not sure what this line will give but yeah let's comment it out ok so let's add this function to add a hero we need to return a promise db object there is a function named execute sql which will execute the sql the query will be let's create a query let q, q which is a query equal to uh, insert into table name heroes of with a column name in the values we are passing only one value okay that's the query uh, let's execute a query q with the values I don't know. Okay. Uh, once this is executed, it will give us the response. Let's return that response. Okay, if we get an error, we have to cache that error. But yeah, let's revert that thing later. Okay, uh, so this thing will return us in a promise. We get then once we added in hero we can just print okay let's take a response here and let's try to print it out okay uh, we can just print all heroes this will also take dv Okay, to print it, uh, we need to have a query, let q equal to select names from heroes. Actually, select name, it is not in names. So, it will return object, but uh, we don't want to return object. Uh, what we will do is, uh, okay db object dot execute sql followed by query once we did that then let's take a response so this response will get a kind of an object uh, to get the data or to print the data uh, we, we can use a parlo for let i equal to 0 i is less than response dot rows dot length 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 plus plus then what we can do we can just console log Press dot rows dot with an item so we have an item item of i okay let's try to execute this one see what will come ionic cordova Right. 
so so I'll also fire up a console actually so here we just executed query but this won't directly give us the output so we have to iterate through this response dot rows to get the output okay so this thing is running Okay, uh, once this is done, uh, we are getting some errors. That is uncaught in, in promise. It's something which I will check it right now. Okay, uh, the problem is we didn't pass this parameters. So let me reload the app. And here you can see the objects. with the name Iron Man okay uh, okay so it has a property dot name which I think I added another SQL light here let me take this one and reload the app again Okay, once it reloaded, uh, I'll open the inspect button. You can see I get the Iron Man three times because I reloaded the app three times. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, I will show you how to add a service to perform all these queries. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.